Well, hi folks, I'm just going to make uh, an odd big vase now. I've got a lump of clay left, six pound lump. I'll try to make quite a tall one. See how we get on. I better just put my specs on because I can't see anymore. Right. Centre it up first. Find it easier to sort of cone it up a bit when you're centering a big lump and then bring it back down. So I'll just open her up and go down to within about, as usual, about a centimetre or less than half an inch of, of the base and then flatten it out, compress the bottom just narrow it back in just try and get some of the heavy stuff up from, bottom, from the bottom with my heel of me right hand just sort of pushing it up with the base of your little finger just to get the first big lumps up just keep collaring it in squeezing it in because it's a lot wider than I want it to be so I'll just collar it back in I'll do the first heel lift, not heel lift, knuckle lift now, which is, as it suggests, just using the knuckle of the index finger on my right hand, underneath the bottom there, with the left hand inside, and pushing against each other and then pulling the clay up. You can get some quite a lot of clay up quickly this way, if you get the hang of it. So, slow it right down now, that's as slow as my wheel gets, so uh, I am limited to the size of pots I can make, because obviously you need, them to, need your wheel to go really slowly to make really big pots. So I'll just narrow it in again, I'll narrow it in a little bit more at the base and then we'll give it one more. more knuckle lift to get a little bit more height. Might need a bit of lubrication on my arm. So another knuckle lift just to try and get a few more inches. I'll just narrow it in again and I'll just start to do a bit of shaping. So I'm just going to squeeze in at the bottom because I want it a little bit narrower at the bottom. And just push up a little bit. And I'm just going to slowly widen it out from the inside out just 
just hit the rough shirt first off. And I'll just form the top and then finish off the shaping at the end. Now if the top goes a bit off like that, you can just pinch the uneven bit off with a needle, a needle tool and straighten it all out again. top just finish off the last bit of shaping just widen it out a touch give it a bit of a higher shoulder I think that's about it I'll just finish the top you really need to stand back and look at it you never get the right view when it's just right behind it I'll just finish the top again because I've just changed the shape by putting my hand in I think that'll do. Probably could have made it a bit of a nicer shape, but I can trim it up tomorrow, get a nicer, more refined shape to it when it's drier. Just mop her out now. So that's about, uh, that's just over six pound, I think, roughly. It's one of our sticks of clay that comes out of the pub mill. We get about nine to a 56 pound bag so it's probably just over six six pounds I don't know what height it is probably 18 inches maybe so that's that tallish vase six pound piece of clay